Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Holistic Health with Dr. Sunil Sabri. Let me introduce myself. I am Holistic Health Coach, International Number One Bestseller Author and Pediatric Neurologist. And I'm on a mission to inspire 2 million people to achieve holistic health. And today I'm going to discuss about causes of stress in any organization. If you're working in corporate, if you're a doctor in working in hospital, if you have your own hospital, if you're engineer, architect, lawyer, and if you are suffering from significant stress, then this video is for you. Watch this video till end. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video to your friends and family member. So today I'm going to discuss about causes of stress in any organization. So we'll start with the video. Dear friend, stress is our body's mental, physical and behavioral reaction to any perceived threat and demand. You may use stress and tension synonymously. Now, stress in any organization may occur when there is imbalance between the work pressure and demand and the person's ability and knowledge. If there is a mismatch, then it produces stress. Okay. The stress may occur because the employee may not have support from his colleague or superior, or he may not have control over the work process. In the research, it is found that 80% of the worker and employees working in any organization suffer from significant amount of stress, which causes adverse effect on the person's health and problem to the organization. So if stress is constant, then it may lead to physical and mental disease and reduce work performance as far as that individual is concerned. But for the organization, it may lead to decreased productivity, absenteeism, attrition and economic loss. So what are the causes of stress in any organization? The causes may be at the organizational level or the causes may be <clears throat> at the individual level. It may be job content, it may be working or it may be problem in interpersonal relation. So we are going to delve deeper into the causes of stress in any organization. So at organizational level, what are the causes? It may be poor leadership, poor communication of leaders and managers with the employees. There may be lack of behavioral rule. There may be lack of clarity about organizational objectives, structure and strategies. So these are the causes as far as the organization level is concerned. Now we'll go to the working condition is concerned. See certain working condition may, may cause stress to the worker. There may be congested working condition. There may be excess noise, heat, lack of basic amenities. So these poor working condition may produce physical as well as mental stress to the worker. The next is Workers' role in organization is concerned. There may be ambiguous role. If you're working in an organization and you don't have a control, then it produces stress. So unclear role and conflicting role, lack of participation in decision making, lack of control over the work process, pace, hours, methods, and work environment. If you don't have a control what you're doing, then it produces stress. The next is the job content. The job may be monotonous, it may be under stimulation, there may be meaningless of task and lack of variety. So if the job is not challenging enough, it produces boredom and it also produces stress. Then next is working hours. We all know that the working hours are increasing day by day. And during Corona pandemic, if you're working from home, you're, there is no division between the work and your home. You land up working late in midnight or if you're eating on a dining table you have to attend your phone call or your email so the working hour excess working hour produce a lot of stress on the person the next is the relationship the relationship with your superior the relationship with your colleagues if the superior are inconsiderate inconsiderate and unsupportive you then it produces stress. If there is poor relationship with your colleagues, then it also produces stress. 
bullying and harassment and violence has increased recently all over the world so all this poor interpersonal relationship lead to stress now as far as career development status and pay is concerned there are certain issues which produce stress for example the job insecurity you are not secure about your position in the organization there may be lack of opportunity for promotion you may feel that you're working hard but you are not promoted and other people are being promoted this also produce stress if you are working hard but you are not compensated to the extent you're working then it also produce stress so these are the certain things which lack of career development and payment which produce stress now this new concept of work life balance there is a complete imbalance of work and life because of current scenario because you are the barrier between the work and the life is completely blurred there may be conflicting demands of work and home at home you have to attend the call okay at work you may have some home work so there is the barrier of work and home has been lost okay so there may be a lack of support for domestic problem at work or lack of support for work problem at home okay or there may be lack of organization rules policies to support work and life balance so this produce a lot of stress to the employees so dear friends we have seen that the stress level has significantly increased in the organization having adverse effect as far as the individual and organization is concerned the causes of stress may be at organizational level it may be as for a job content or interpersonal relationship or working condition is concerned if you are working in any organization if you are under stress then write in the comment box what are the causes of stress in your your life and in you know in your organization okay and if you want to manage your stress effectively and lead healthy happy and more fulfilling life have work life balance then join my community i have given the dis- how to join my community in the description below you can visit my website drsunilsabre.com and you will get all the details if you join my community you will be able to manage your stress not at workplace but whatever stress you have in your life if you are stressed out burnt out if you want to lose weight if you are suffering from chronic disorder like obesity diabetes heart disease and you want to reverse them if you want to have better relationship with your colleagues your spouse and your parents and your children and if you want to lead healthy happy and more fulfilling life then join my community by visiting my website thank you so much for watching this video till the end i wish a very healthy happy and more fulfilling life to you bye